Hey, good afternoon, everybody. I wanted to go over something kind of cool today. I found a really cool uh, YouTube channel that is basically Deaf News. It's a Deaf News website. So if you are actually interested in learning more about AFL or interested in the culture, this is a really great um, YouTube channel to subscribe to. It's called The Daily Moth. The Daily Moth. And let me scroll down real quick. Here it is. The Daily Moth. Really good. And so what I really want to focus on today as just like as a quick primer is uh, how different deaf people talk because it's not all the same. There's not sign language isn't a universal language and even different people who use sign language of the same type do so differently with different styles. And it's really important to know how people express themselves on a person to person basis because that makes us better communicators too. And that's what this whole channel is about. So let's look at what's going on. I think what I want to do is just show this quick video, show how the different styles of ASL are used. Let's go at normal speed real quick and just highlight how it's interesting, how there's so many different modes of expression, even in the deaf community. So check this out. Deaf news, uh, D E A F D E A F for deaf and then news as in that's how you sign news. So it's not N-E-W-S, it's just news. It's such a short word that it's become its own sign. Let's look at that one more time. And see that? <laughs> if you didn't see it, let me rewind it real quick and we'll go over it again. So the thing is a lot of short words in ASL specifically have become their own sign. And so instead of signing N-E-W-S, since it kind of flows, it just becomes this. This is a sign for news, and EWS. Let me uh, see if I can get a side by side. And news, and news. There's gonna be a lot of things like that in ASL, but if you wanted to, you can do N-E-W-S, that works too, but news is how you can sign that. Anyway, D-E-A-F news. Oh, so close, right? <laughs> news. One last one and then we'll continue. I just like small things like that. Anyway. D E A F and news. It's pretty slick. It's like this. Right. Anyway. Anyway. Small things. Let's go at normal speed for a little bit just to get the intro of this video out of the way. We'll show you what I'm talking about. So reading along the caption says, hey, a group of deaf and hard hearing animators and storytellers are teaming up to create a nine minute 3D animated short film called Liftoff. See, I try to time that with how she was signing it. But what I want to do is highlight how the way how she's speaking or the way how she's signing isn't how the, the words in the caption are being played out. They're very different. And that's because of two things. One, Grammar in ASL is not the same as grammar when you're speaking in English. They're, they are different languages and they have their own grammar system. But also, uh, this lady has a very particular way of signing. And we'll get into it, particularly with how it compares to like so many different other people on this channel. So what I want to do is slow this down. And I want to type out the actual signs that she's saying when she speaks. And we can get a, a better idea of how she's expressing herself. So I will open this up. I'll hit play. And we're going to type out the words that she's saying. Test. Cool. All right. So let's see. What do we got? Deaf news. All right. Here we go. So team, group, them, deaf. Very interesting way how she signs deaf. H-O-H, A-N-I-M-A-T-O. R S film animation story tell person uh, them together make nine a uh, minute forget the, forgive the spelling errors I'm trying to keep up three three D film short film name title uh man well she's spelling liftoff l-i-f-t-o-f-f -F. 
All right, so let's just stop right there. Did I get all the text in there? Hey, not bad, not bad, not bad. So there's all the text. So you can see the team group them def hoh animator film animation storytell person them together make nine. Ah, uh, come on, I'm gonna have to cut me some slack with the <laughs> with the spelling. Nine minute 3D short film name title lift off. Those these are the actual signs that she's signing. Just the signs, not the facials, not the the context or the body language. This is like a very rough glossing. Glossing, by the way, is like there. So so I'll explain this real quick. There's no writ writing approved writing system for ASL. Um, this is just a shorthand note taking of the signs that I'm getting in order, but they don't really have the context of how they're being given. They're just sort of like a like a court reading, you know, like you know, a stenographer who just says what's being said out loud without putting any of the tone behind it. So you kind of miss m some of the meaning. And so a lot of these words, a lot of these words side by side might seem a little confusing, but with her facials, which we'll look at in a bit, and, and just the manner of how she's giving them the signs out, they, they make much more better context in ASL. And so uh, team group them, so like a group of them, like a team, like a team, she's making the group sign or the, the class family for group is like this. So like a family, uh, a team, you know, uh, a crew, yeah, like a crew. But she's doing with the T symbol. So if you know your alphabet, this is the letter T. And she says, a team, group, them, of deaf people. And she does deaf like this. She goes from her chin up to her ear. The way I learned it was from ear to your chin. But you can do it anywhere you want. Different people have different styles. And as long as you get this or this, it counts either way. Some people get a little uh, snickety on that. But it doesn't really matter. Uh, it's, it's, there are grammar, <laughs> there are sticklers in every language. And so this can mean deaf, this can mean deaf. And it's just a stylistic choice at that point, or sort of think of it as like an accent. Anyway, so team, uh, team, group, them, deaf, hard of hearing, H-O-H. -H. So hard of hearing, hard of hearing people are like, um, people who aren't completely deaf, make people who've lost significant amounts of hearing um, and are just wrapped into adult culture. Maybe they can talk, maybe they can't talk, but uh, they can still hear just a little bit, you know? Um, so deaf and hard of hearing animators, and she didn't sign like animation person. She signed it, she spelled it out, A-N-I-M-A-T-O-R-S, right? Film, because uh, the sign comes from like a movie reel where you have like a, this used to be the sign for like movies way, way, way back when. And now people don't know what that means anymore. It's like a, uh, what do you call them? What's that word? Um, man, it's gonna come to me, but it's like, it is a anachronism or something? No, forget about it. It's gonna come to me though. It's, it's gonna come to me before the end of this video. But uh, now you have a movie reel, um, like a movie spinning reel, slightly more modern take, and it's spinning. Who knows what movies will be in the future, the sign for it at least. There will probably be something much more updated, but movie reel. Kids won't know what it means, but uh, that's what the sign is, at least for now. So an animator, we didn't say it, we spelled it out. Film, animation, story. So this is like a sentence. So if you put a bunch of sentences together, it becomes a story. Tell uh, person. How Did she sign person? Tell person them. Let's see. I don't remember if I saw the sign for person. Let's see. Animation, story, tell. Oh, person as in, uh, uh, oh, I get it, I get it. See, I got confused. So it's not, it's not story tell a person, like a person. She's saying like it's a storyteller person, like storyteller. That's what the sign is. So she, these things are compounded. A story tell person, a story tell person equals a storyteller, storyteller. So that's how you say storyteller in ASL. Sometimes you combine terms together. And then if you use the, the, the family class or like this, it means instead of saying like an animation, it becomes an animator, animator, right? Instead of saying lie, 
person becomes liar, right? And that's what that that's what that this term means. It's, you're talking about a person, like a person standing right in front of you. And them, did she do them? Did she do them? I don't know if she did them immediately afterwards. Let's see. Storyteller, them together. Oh, that whole group. Together make nine. So this is how you say a minute, right? Two minutes, three, uh, three minutes. Oh, I'm sorry. Three minutes, four minutes, five minutes, six, seven, eight, nine minutes, right? <laughs> it really makes a lot of sense when you think about it. So like these are minutes, right? Like minutes on a clock, right? It's like here's your clock and, and here's your hands going around it. So you just do that for a minute. So she's making the sign for nine. So nine minutes. And then she'll say three D, right? Sh oh, well, she says she doesn't say short. Hmm. I'm going to take that back. Well, hmm. Hmm. Was that animation or was that short? Let's see. Animation film? Minute. Three D. That's animation. I read that wrong. Totally fine. That was not short. That's animation. Short looks different. Short looks like that or like this. There's there's different ways you can sign short. You can sign short like this. You can sign short like that. You can even do this. You can say short. You can talk about a person that's short. There's a lot of different ways to sign short. So got that mixed up. Anyway, she's signing animation here. I thought I saw this, but it's this. So it's like you're drawing with a uh, like a pencil or a, or a paintbrush. Paintbrush is like this, actually. So it's like more like a pencil. So animation, film, film, short. I did see short. <laughs> that does say short. My bad. I got. I did. I did see short. I knew I was. I know I'm not crazy all the time so that says film that short short or short or short or short there's a lot of different variations on that her version of short is like this like short baby i see i feel i feel like i'm getting an idea of how she talks more by the choices that she's using so like deaf from the chin up uh short like this uh very very clear very well signed but sort of like stresses at some points, sort of like a person from maybe like, I don't know, like Seattle, Portland. I feel like I get a vibe. Like if you listen to someone who's like, I'm talking like this, right? And Gladys, she comes in on Friday nights. Can you believe it? It's like, I can understand you. Why are you stressing your vowels like that so much? Like, I can't believe it. Oh, what's going on over here? <laughs> that's a terrible Portland accent. That's what I, that's where I'm going for Anyway, film, name, title. So name, title, like the name or the quoting, quoting the name of it. Uh, and then she should spell L-I-F-T-O-F-F. -F. Look how she does F, F, so off, right? But she goes O-F-F -F or O-F and another F on the side. Very, very nice. I normally go like this for like short words off. Sometimes I could be confused with of though. So I have to be careful with that. That's my own um, little note to myself, but like of don't do it like that. So O F F O F F. There's a little hop there. There's a little hop there. There's a little hop between the two F's. Oh, wait for it. O F F. You see that? Very clear. <laughs> Great facials. All right. So one more time from the top just so we can follow along and then we'll move on. Let's see what we have back here. So teen group them, deaf, H O H A N I M A T O R S film animation. It's like for an animation film story teller person group make nine minute three d a 
animation film. It's a short film named or titled L-I-F-T-O-F-F. -F. So, like I said, uh, different from how it's being captioned, because the caption uh, is like written for English tellers, but for her s way of describing it, she's like, hey, there's, a two, there's like a group of deaf and hard of hearing animators that are making an animated film together. The, the storyteller uh, <laughs> are making an animation. Okay, let me back up. So there's a group of deaf, hard of hearing uh, animators and storytellers that are coming together to make a nine minute 3D film um, called Liftoff. That's basically <laughs> how she stated it. And it's so close to how it's already been. It's so close to how it's already being said here. But it's just slightly different. That's all I mean. That's all I mean. Am I s a group of deaf and hard of hearing fans are teaming up to create a uh, nine minute 3D animated short film named called Liftoff. The captions actually aren't that bad. But it's like the way how she's saying it is different. Anyway, hopefully hopefully it'll stand out. Look at how, look at that facials there where she's like 3D film. Look at her face. That's so great. Nine minutes. Look at that. It's a short film. You know what I'm talking about. Anyway, it's going to be called Liftoff. Isn't that awesome? Like, look at her face. There's so many, like, tiny little extra things that could appear. Anyway. So now, let's go on to the next part. Just going to delete this text. I'll write out the signs. And we'll go over the captions and then how she's saying it maybe slightly differently. Yeah? All right. So, story. Oh, no. My bad. Sorry, guys. Let me see if I can get back to where we were. Not bad. That was a good fix, Ty. Okay, so. Play. Looks like we're at liftoff. All right, so story about. Oh, she signs about differently. Two, two, deaf, tiara, maybe dance person. Named V I V I A N. Okay. All right. We're going to take a pause here. Story is about 22, most likely. Yeah, 22 is 2 2. Deaf. <laughs> I don't know what this was. Tiara, dance person named Vivian. All right. So. The story is about, I do my about like this with all my fingers. She did her about like this with just one finger, which is a stylistic choice that is interesting and different, and I'm not used to seeing that, and that's cool. Not wrong. It's definitely not wrong. It's just a different way of how ASL mutates in different places in different communities. So about like this means to her. It's the same family sign as like about. Like it still looks the same. It's just done slightly differently. And so story about, I'll do it my way, but eh, I'll do it her way. About, uh, she goes for the sign for age. She goes for the sign for age, but she starts with a two. So I thought two, two, she goes, she goes like, she like this and goes two, two. So like for age, two, two, 22, because you sign 22 like that, uh, 22, 33, like that. So three, Five would be 35, 35, 34 would be 34, 33, right? You don't just do this, you do 33. So she's doing 22. So the story is about a 22 year old deaf, she does deaf like this, I do my deaf like this, deaf uh, uh, crown dancing uh, person named uh, V I V I A N. Okay. And I'm thinking Tiara, uh, princess, a, a dancing, a dancing princess. I forgot what the story was about, guys. Dancing person, dancing princess person. Oh, it's a ballet dancer. Okay. Hmm. Well, I don't know how you would sign ballet. I think ballet would just be ballet has a sign and I forgot what the sign is. 
you want to look up what ballet is? Let's look up what ballet is. ASL ballet. Let's look for ballet. Ooh, fancy. <laughs> but it's just this, and then it's just some fancy, <laughs> some extra fancy stuff to it. Okay, I could spell that out too. Uh, but she does this for ballet. Interesting. It's all good. So, uh, yeah, look at that sign. Isn't that interesting? All right, so uh, the story is about a 22-year-old deaf ballet dancer named Vivian. Let's see, how would she say it here? Stories about a 22-year-old deaf person, a deaf ballet person named Vivian. Yeah, so it looks like she's compounding deaf dance. Let's just do this. You know, this as ballet kind of looks like what she's doing here a little bit. Uh, all right. We'll just we'll just throw in ballet. We'll give her the benefit of the doubt. <laughs> ballet dance person named Vivian. So it's like she's combining uh, these three signs together. Well, actually, she's combining all of these together. Deaf ballet and a deaf ballet dancer equals deaf ballet dancer named Vivian. So the story is about a 22 year old. Let me fit this in here. A 22 year. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. I'm going off this. I'm going off the page. Let me do this. A 22 year old deaf ballet dance person or deaf ballet dancer named Vivian. And what does it say here? The story is about a 22 year old deaf ballet dancer named Vivian. Oh, these captions are so good. The whole point of this video is to show how the captions are different from what's being said. I, I give me a sec, just give me a chance. <laughs> Guys, bear with me because there's a lot of different people in this video and they don't all sound as standard as the, the, the transcript is going. But I will say this, the captions on this are very, very well done. Very, very well done. Anyway, so the story is about a 22-year-old uh, deaf ballet dancer named Vivian. Uh, this is going to be a 3D animated cartoon coming out in the future. Uh, let's see what's going on uh, with the rest of the story. Named V-I-V-I-A-N. Perfect. Great. So let's see what's going on. So he, this is someone else who works on the show. She's saying integrate, make, mm, don't know what that sign is. Animation, don't know what that sign is. Best or better, deaf. Oh, she goes trend to ear too. Character, animation, hmm, don't know what that is. ST. You studio studio okay and there's a lot of people on the zoom call to, uh coming together with our stories important uh oh important okay so it's important so we're integrated so basically she's saying it uh they in, were integrated oh in integrated now I'm gonna have to go back. I'm gonna have to go back just a wee bit. Sorry guys. Integrate. Sometimes I didn't know. It's kinda hard to see in this angle. So hey, here compare and contrast. Um white hands. Making sure I'm not saying anything racist. <laughs> good contrast, I should say that. Really good contrast and a big box to sign in. A very, very big box to sign in, right? I can see a lot of what's going on here. I can see your facials very clearly. And it's very clear to see where the signs are coming from. The lighting's good enough that I can see really good definition on the hands. The The face stands up very well. And this is around the angle that I would see someone do ASL in. Uh, when we move to the next one, when we move to this example, very, very tight box, right? Like, ooh, ooh, you're really barely in frame. That's okay though, but also, her signing only comes out in like a very, very small square. And it's very hard to see. And I don't have my glasses on. And, uh, it's 
it's just a small picture in picture sort of thing. I'm sure people who are really fluent can pick out everything that's going on here. I'm getting maybe about 80%, 60%. Okay, so that's integrate. Let's see. Integrate, make. I don't know what that is, and there's bad blur. Uh, any animation. Best or better. Def. Character. Animation. She does it with her thumb. And then there's an extra sign there. I don't know what that is. Uh, S-T-U-D-O. Uh-huh. Uh, I'm going to just say come together with our stories important. Okay, so how how would I translate that before we get to <laughs> before we get to whatever it said in the caption? Let me make sure you've seen the whole script. Integrated make animation best better character animation studio come together. So it's really important to have a diverse uh, cast of, or a group of people making this animation because it helps us come together and and tell our stories which are important. Something like that. Integrated make animation best better deaf character animation studio come together with our stories important. It's important that we have an integrated uh, crew to m make the make to represent to animate deaf characters in the best way possible and, and we can come together and share our stories like we value that a lot that's generally the gist of it I'm not getting enough words here to make a coherent English sentence but I get the vibe from it in ASL let's see how it was translated in the actual news story all right let's read what happened here okay Vivian let's see what how they translate it they said the integrated crews make amazing animation in general. How would I say that? So the integrated crews make amazing animation in general. Like in general is like typically like this. In general, right? And uh, ASL anim uh, in general. I didn't do, uh, let's see, this might be in here. In general. In general, right? So that integrated crews make amazing, or just amazing, ma I don't know, I'm chewing my hand, amazing animation in general, or generally they, they make uh, amazing animation. Um, very, very much so uh, when they are integrated with different people uh, coming together to make work that's important or that's best to represent deaf characters. So the thing is, what's being said here isn't what I'm seeing up here, but it has the general tone of what is being said. Let's see, let's see the full thing that's actually being said. And the best deaf character animation in particular. And she's saying best deaf character animation oh and I don't know what that sign is anyway now she's going to sign fingerspell studios can't okay can't oh there's a sign for can so she say S T U D I is that how you spell studio no S T U D I studio that's how you spell it S T U D <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's how you spell studio. Okay, studio. S T I O with a little floss in there. And she says can come together. So two words in there with our stories. And that's important. I think that's how she caps that off. Uh, again, the captions on there didn't really accurately have a one-to-one -one with what's being signed. But like I said, English and ASL are different languages. 
if you're going to sign that a bit more closely to how you would say it in English, if you're going to sign it a little bit closer to, uh, I think what would be called like exact signing English. Let's see if we can't, let's see if we can't nail that ourselves. So, all right. So the integrated crews make amazing animation in general and the best deaf character animation in particular oh in particular in particular animation in particular that's what that sign means so not in general but in particular specifically right okay got you i'm with you i'm with you i'm with you okay in particular in particular so that's a new one for me i like that animation in particular that or that s oh i'm sorry s t u d i o can work um i'm trying to figure out can work with us can work with us is that how she's saying it work with our stories can work with so this is with this is without this is with so it can work with our stories and that's important hey okay not bad not bad not bad not bad i feel like i got a better idea of what's being said here now one last time from the very top i'm going to try to translate what she's saying word sign for sign so let's get a little zoom in on here. All right. From the very top, let's go. Integrated. Make. Uh, crew. Animation. Oh, and I don't know what that means. Best. Deaf. Deaf. Character. Animation. In particular right studios and you can also do this for studios depending on like you know like what what you're actually talking about but studios can come together i think work with our stories and that is important more or less and so it's important that we can have integrated you know animation studios that can share our stories more or less that's that's the vibe of what's being said Moving on, much better dynamic in terms of being able to understand what's going on here. Uh, I will go one last weird thing on this lady too. Her signing frame is very, very small. This is a picture in picture shot. So like here's your pic, really it's a picture in picture in picture in picture. <laughs> Cause one, this frame that I'm showing the video in is it full screen and um oh my i have two of them oh, i'm gonna i'm gonna take a gamble and be and, and and pretend i'm allowed to do that so this is not full screened right so this isn't full screen and so i can't see her in full screen she is in a frame in a frame in a frame in another frame and the signing frame that she is in is very small very very small so like it's very important this is very important right because she needs to stay inside her camera frame right and i just think it just makes it's harder to read compared to the other people like all these signs are coming out around her chest area and something you'll find with like black people who do sign language is they sign much bigger <laughs> than allowable sometimes okay so this guy he has a much better uh potential for signing much more clearly and I'm already getting a bit more of his vibe. He's saying that, that something. Let's see. Let's see. What's he say? He says that have limit none. Yeah, look at him. He's in the, he's leaning forward, right? List possibilities. Possibilities can, can. Oh, I love the facials here. Uh, I, uh, change, change, experiment, throw stuff in. 
like that guy has is great. I understood everything that guy was saying. Okay, okay, okay. I understood literally everything that guy was saying. Experiment, throw, throw. What was he else was he saying? Experiment, imagine, imagine, throw, throw. Okay. So this guy was great. This guy had a really, really great signing dynamic. There was nothing like the last lady. So let's go back. Let's go. Let's read what that the animation said. So he says, animation has no limits. Really, the possibilities are endless. Doesn't say that. Well, let's see. Let's see. Possibilities. No, he doesn't say possibilities are endless. He just says he can change anything he wants to. He can keep doing changes. He can experiment a lot. E, X, E, 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 experiments. He can I, 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 I imagine. He can throw stuff in, left and right. Yeah, so like the captions made him sound a lot more professional <laughs> than how he was actually saying. So like if I was going to paraphrase what he was saying as he was saying it, I would, I would be like, so like from the from the signs themselves it just has that have limit none so like animations have no limit right and he actually says right when he's signing too and so like the list of possibilities like the list of possibilities just keep going and i can i basically can keep doing anything i want i can change anything i want i can experiment as much as i want i can imagine as much as i want dude i can just keep throwing stuff in <laughs> I can do anything I want, man. That's what he's. That's what. That's basically how he's saying it. He's talking like, like uh, Seth Rogen, kind of like, just like, dude, you can do anything you want. He looks like Seth Rogen too. <laughs> dude, animation, dude. Like, there's like no limits, man. You can do anything you want. There's no limits there, right? Come on, man. Like, dude, the limits are like endless baby they just keep going and going i can i can do anything i can i can basically do anything i want i can like straight up change things man or switch in the body language or i can experiment with anything i want or i can imagine anything i want dude i can just start throwing stuff in <laughs> <laughs> really really love that 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 is so much more clear that is so much more easier to understand. Let me, let me just put, in case he ever reads this. That was cool and so much more easy to understand because he threw his body into it. He put his, uh, I'm sorry, he put his body language into it. Sorry, guys. I, I typed that whole thing out and no one ever saw it. Anyway, we can move on. I just really, really liked the way how energetic that guy was and his camera setup was perfect for it too. Anyway, let's keep going through the video. So we're going to sign a nonprofit organization called Signing Animation is, and let's see how she signs nonprofit organization and signing animation, right? That's what we're preparing for. So we, let me back up just a little bit. All right. So a, a non ah 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 so like there this could this means so many different things but in this case she means like uh, uh i'm talking about this so like a n o n profit so a non profit right a non profit organization named look did she do the o family sign for group non-profit organization so the same family for grouping but she's doing with the o signs so it's an organization name you see that so n-o-n profit organization named s-i whoo look how she's signing now oh she's getting a little f she's getting a little fancy with her <laughs> signing <laughs> a non a a non profit organization organization named all right and this is the part where we're gonna start signing but she uh, she spells a little wonky all right named s i g 
cheese. Eh, oh my gosh. Hey. Hey. Back up. Let's just let me let me show you. I'm I'm walking out a little bit here. Name S. That's an S. I. That's an I, but she's already getting ready to go into the G, which should be like this, right? <laughs> now she's sliding so fast, her fingers are going great, little wonky. But uh, so this is a G, but she's doing like this. It looks like a looks like a sideways L. But I get it. I see the G. But you see the difference here, like S I G N I N G. She's going S I G. <laughs> And I N G, right? So she's she's a little bit. It's like that whole Gladys situation. It's just like, oh, I gotta go over here. <laughs> I don't know. It's there's an accent there. Oh, what was that? Look at that. Look how that I came out. Name, S I. That was a good I, just like this, right? G. She's getting a little wonky on that G. And oh, that was a that looked like a Y though. Yeah, N, ooh, I, or you want to tighten that up? No, nah, you're good. You're good. But it gets a little faster. Like, especially, so as you deal with people who are fluent in ASL, they will sign, they will finger spell. Um, I mean, that's the nicest way of saying it. Uh, uh, abbreviated, sloppy a little bit. Um sort of like fast paced because they know you know what they are trying to sign even by the time you get to like the fourth or fifth letter so they're just you might see people who are like a or a and i reverse you know what i'm saying right animation right <laughs> you may get that so it's not that bad at all but like there you have to spot where the letters are now so like that's an i N, and then there's the other G, and she swaps out the G like this. Okay, so now she's going back into A, N, I, M, whoa. Now it's all coming out. Also, suffixes, suffixes which are very common, like Asian, or shun, or, you know, um, I don't know, we'll get to them, but like very common suffixes are abbreviated and, and just flung out sometimes, not one letter at a time, especially in this case. And you can see it, un, shun, right? Because you just get so used to spelling it out that it becomes muscle memory. So A, N, I, and now the rest of the letters are gonna come out super fast. M, A, shun, right? <laughs> that, behind that project, project, or uh, so this project, it's a very beautiful sign, project, right? Project, okay. So that behind that project, that start, ooh, I like how she does start, start, I'm gonna do that. Start, I like that, start. It's like you're starting up something. I used to do my starts like this, okay, you start, but she's going like, hey, start, and look at the face. <laughs> that's great facial I love the way that she signs uh, so start this kick starter and yeah kick starter very our uh, arter very uh, TR very um, uh, uh, just just quickly done because it's it's common enough that you should know that as long as you see like that it ends in an R, and you can kind of see the letters in between. You should know what I'm talking about. So she's quickly spelling out Kickstarter. Kick start. Uh, Kickstart. Uh, thing. Kickstart thing. She's saying person, but she means it more like. She's not saying person. She means more like framing of a thing. I hope I'm not rushing too fast. You guys might want to buckle in, because <laughs> I want to take my time with this. So. Uh, I'm just see how much longer is this segment? Let's go a couple more sentences and then we'll do our breakdown. Four zero thousand goal goal. I like how she signs that. Good facials. Look at these facials. Cover cost four 
make first half of the thing film the thing she's not saying person she's saying with her face so it's like the thing finished uh excess succeed more than ha more than half of money all the money for few days i didn't focus too well on that so i'm not quite sure what was all said but we'll do uh we'll do a line by line we'll do a sign by sign anyway let's try to do a sign by sign on that anyway i love i love how this guy signs <laughs> this guy sounds like how black people sign and i love it <laughs> But I also like the way how this lady signs. The lady in between, the the small picture-in-picture picture lady, I was like, oh, you're kind of hard to listen. To. You're kind of hard to watch. All right, anyway. A, a group or a nonprofit organization named Signing Anim Animation. Mm-hmm. Yep. Them. Or that, oh geez, them or that, it's that, or him, them, it, um, him, them, that, that, you guys know, you guys know generally what I'm trying to say here, because if it was them, it would be like a group of people, but she means the organization, and I'm not sure if you call organizations her or him and this is typically her or him so I'm gonna say that for right now all right but sometimes we refer to organizations as them in English it's weird I know them behind that project that start this Kickstarter and then she says, kick, <laughs> start, uh, project, make, oh, geez, 40, 000 to the goal, to the goal, cover, cost, for, make, first, half of the film, really, for the first cut of the film? Where is it? Make first. Oh, it looked like she was saying half there. First. Yeah, because half is this. Right? That's how you say half. Starts with one, splits it into two. Looks like she's saying half here. Cover. Cost. For. Making first half looks like she says first half of the film or the first cut maybe mm, I want to anyway making of the film that finished over exceeded more than so she says that made more than or than there's just more to do than uh more more than more so you can say more than or you can be like more than there's two different ways to do it let's see how she does it exceeds more than very fast half there's half again <laughs> look at the faces i love the faces <laughs> more than half so she says Oh, uh, they exceeded uh, their forty thousand dollar goal. They made more than half of all the money, more than all the money that they were aiming for in a few in a few days. Right? They made more than all the money they needed in a few days, or more than half. Of they made more than half the money they were asking for in forty uh, days. 
So a nonprofit behind the organization named Signing Animation started a, 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 non, a, a Kickstarter for them. And the Kickstarter project's goal was $40,000. And they were able to cover, and the $40,000 were to cover the cost for making the first cut of the film. The first cut of the film. Not first person, but she says it like, hmm, first cut. I'm saying something different here. First cut. The first cut of the film. And um, uh, along with that, they made more than half the money for the total project in less than 40, uh, less than a few days. They made more than half of $40,000 needed to make the first cut of the project in a few days. And so let's see how they were saying it with the caption, just so I make sure I'm, I'm I'm not leading you guys astray. <laughs> okay, so a nonprofit organization called Signing Animation is. You can say called or named here. She says named, but it, the sign means both things. It's just fine. Behind the project, sign. Yep. And there's no ASL word for the, so you just go from behind project and signing. They. They, ah, see, in this case, it's an organization, but they also use they as well. And that's the issue I was having with English before. So they don't say that, which I, which is what I was having an issue with, but they say they. But in ASL, it's just the organization, right? It's, it's them as the organization. That's very interesting. Weird thing between English and ASL. So anyway, started this uh, Kickstarter. She fingerspells it, but then she does this start and I love it that's such a cute way of doing it there's also the word for kick is like this but she goes kick start you know what I'm saying come on <laughs> pay attention oh I'll forget about it <laughs> this is so bad there's an accent here it's so good with forty thousand dollars towards the goal they started the kick start with a forty thousand dollar goal to cover to cover the cost for making the first cut like right it's not a person i'm not saying person here i'm not saying person i'm saying the thing the thing for the film the first cut the first cut right that's what i'm saying the film she's even clarifying here the film cut the film thing right and that you know we're already done like it's been done past more than half so like more than or more than or like more than half let's say well, let me just verify how you say more than asl more than i say more than yeah yeah more than more than more than became more than right then is like, all right, so then, 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 that's how you sign then, more, so more than, they, they, they combine the two words together. Does that make sense? More than is a combined uh, sign of more and then, so now it's just this, right? But you can also do it's less than, it's more than, and she's saying more than half, right? They made or they surpassed more than more than half of the of the money. I love the facials. Money for all the money that they needed for that project goal in a few days. In a few days or several days. But in this case she means a few. Because in English several means a has a connotation of meaning a lot, lot more than just a few. Okay. So this sign means several or few or a bit, but in in the context, at least when you translate it to English, she's specifically referring to few. Man, we're an hour long. It is only a three minute video. Oh my God, I'm so sorry guys. You're in the long haul now. We're here, we're here, we're here. Let's just watch. <laughs> Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Anyone who's made it this far, please leave a comment. Say, hey, 
turn around. I made it. I made it in, 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 an hour along into your one minute <laughs> summary of this video. I know. There's, hopefully, we learned some cool stuff, though, along the way, right? All right. So uh, let's keep going. So in a few days, we've already surpassed uh, more than half. So here's the next couple of sentences. That person or that organization or that project, I'm not sure what the context here is, but she says, let's back up again. That thing, the film, inspires a real life person. That person is deaf dancer person named Z A H A N S I M O N. I have no idea what that name is. I had it at Z. <laughs> oh, it says it there. It's Zana Simon. Oh my gosh. I was like Zendaya. <laughs> I had no idea what the name was. I was like, Z-A, oh, well, it's going to be a long name. It's going to be a long name, and I'm not going to know what this name is. And then it's like S. I was like, oh, geez. I'm not going to remember all these letters to put in order. My friend would just be like Joe or something. Okay. The film is inspired by a real-life deaf dancer. Yeah, that works. Uh, she says it a little differently, but she says these signs. She says that this that uh film inspires real person a oh, real life person real life person oh geez i looked away sorry guys i looked away to make sure the spelling was right i can always fix that in post though so that this that th that thing the film inspires a real person a real life person that person oh my gosh is a deaf dancer named person that person is a deaf dancer her dance person dance person her name Sana Sana Simon okay so that's Zana Simon and just before we move to her she said um, this film inspire sorry for the spelling here inspire spired inspired by a so for English inspired by by a real life person that person is a deaf dancer she says deaf dance person yeah and we know that you combine deaf, deaf, and dance, and person can mean a deaf dancer, right? And her name is Zana Simon. Okay, so the animation was inspired by a real life person who is also deaf and a dancer, and her name is Zana Simon. And let's see, uh, how do they say it? The film is inspired by a real life deaf dancer. That's perfect, that's perfect. Zana Simon, whoever did the captions for these videos, very, very well done. Very well done. Isn't that like so perfect? This, this, that film inspired real life person. That person is deaf dance person. Her name's Anna Simon. And then English. This film is inspired by a real life deaf dancer. It's Anna Simon. That's perfectly, perfectly well said. But you can see what's being insist. The difference between the 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 more passive way that the sentence is constructed versus how it's being signed is that the signer is more of like. You know, this film, you know, this film right here is fired by like a real life person. Yeah, that that deaf dancing person. Yeah, her name is Zana Simon. <laughs> There's a little bit more character there, right? <laughs> and that's why that's why I like the dynamic between the caption person and then how she's signing it, actually, because it's like, oh, there's a little bit more personality here anyway. Anyway, let's see. Let's see. Let's see how Zana signs. Zana signs dance. Hmm, it's to me. Hmm, it's amazing, amazing. 
opportunity. Mm. <laughs> Expressing myself. First of all, it's a, uh, dance is an amazing way for me to express myself, first of all. Second, it's a challenge. Okay. Third, it's c communication. It's a good communication tool or communication. Man, they only let her say those things. <laughs> That's short. So this angle is really, really bad, but uh, you can barely see half her hands. But her face is like detailing most of the things that she's saying. And I'm just basically using her hands to get the two words together. Dance is an amazing opportunity for self-expression. Ooh, I don't think I found four. Let's see. So she definitely says dance, amazing, opportunity, and then like self-expression. And then with her face, you have to like tie it together for me to express myself. That's how, that's how I'm getting it. So again, these aren't the, the, the news, the Daily Moss captions these are the captions from the most likely the kickstarter so this is the complete it's not that far off though so dance for me okay how how, how would i find this dance uh is an amazing opportunity for self-expression right for self-expression for self-expression right and i don't see the signs before here so opportunity what is this thing going on here? <laughs> and then there's the facials for expressing myself. And I guess I get that. First of all, so dance is an amazing opportunity for self-expression, first of all. And secondly, it's a great way to challenge. And I guess she means challenge for herself, challenge for other people. And then third, because she only literally just says challenge, communication. And so there's some additional words in here. And it's a good way to communicate with other people. So good way to challenge it's an amazing opportunity it's a great way to communicate all right so very interesting way of signing from the the dancer very very dance like in the way that she expresses herself right it's like hey i'm filling out a couple of things you fill in the dots because it's art baby <laughs> anyway we're back to my favorite signer right here uh let me see if i can sign along with her see if we can speed this up a wee bit so I'm going to try to change left our view a little bit and we'll sign. I will speak out the exact signs that she's saying and then I'll do it again with my paraphrasing and then we'll read the captions afterwards. How about that? We'll try that as a format. So directing person, uh, writing person and uh, CO uh founder co founder co founder co founder okay ah oh, man i gotta slow down person writing person and and co company founder person co-founder person co-founder is it co-founder oh it says co-founder it's co-founder that person that person all those three people that person's name is C A. Oh my God! I'm gonna see if I get this name right. C A R I M P O W E L L. Karen Powell. Her. Deaf, but only in one ear. <laughs> Look at her. <laughs> Deaf people will call you out. Deaf people will describe how you're deaf in the same detail sometimes that black people describe how black you are. It's like, ah, look at that light skin dude, but dents in my car. <laughs> DeAndre, DeAndre, DeAndre stole my basketball. Well, which one's DeAndre? You know, that light skin guy go walk around corduroys all tight and damn long. Uh, you know, you know how it is sometimes. Anyway. This guy got skin as dark as night. <laughs> Owes me five bucks. She's only deaf in one ear. She's deaf, but she's deaf in one ear. Uh, it's not like that, but it's like it's funny that that's called out in such detail in this in this conversation. So like her, she's deaf, but only in one ear. <laughs> it's 
it's not like that but she's just like calling it out oh my gosh so it's not like it's a bad thing it's just a weird thing to like special specify with the with the facials that she's given it's just like she's deaf <laughs> deaf she's deaf on this side she's deaf on one ear uh some remarks so like some remarks some sentences how they say remarks yeah some remarks some remarks let me make sure some remarks ooh from some remarks from from her so she's saying what she the the newscaster is going to say some things that the the director writer and co-founder for this project had said and she's a person who is deaf in just one ear all f of oh man from her and and of her and about of of making th uh, this name who man i feel like i'm missing something here make i'm trying to figure this out without reading the subtitles okay so she's pointing and a different person who of a make person let me just back up Ah oh, man, I'm gonna have to back up. Sorry, guys. Some remarks and some remarks from this person, and O F and of a make person named what's a make person? A ma so like she has some comments from the director, writer, and co-founder as well as a make person, and I don't know what a make person is. Oh, it's a producer, huh? I'm gonna have to look that up. ASO producer. Ooh, how do you say producer? Someone who manufactures something. Someone who makes things. Yeah, that's like a machinist, though. Um. So a make person in this context means producer. That's interesting. Okay, make person named S A. Uh. R, ooh, I messed up. Sorry. S A M M S E P A G. No, F H H. Man, I did not get any of that what sentence. My brain is tired, guys. I've been doing this for a while now. <laughs> I don't have to break this down. This is a three minute video. I can read it. Okay, so it's a make person named. S A M S A P A H Spa Sapa Sam Spa. Okay, cool. Oh, what a sweetheart. How old is this person? Jeez. And she's a director and a writer? Which one's this? Karen Powell, the director? Ah, I'm old. I feel old now. Okay. I feel like I would. It's like a freshman on campus or something. Okay, so anyway, let's go back to what she was saying. I'm going back to what the, I'm going back. Uh, I shouldn't say, okay. We, we, our film, I'm sorry, our films titled L-I-F-T-O, waiting for the O, F, F. Yeah, she's slight. oh, no, she does the bump for the F, nice. It's like, it's like, let me move this over here. Prove I'm not going to do this. It's like a uh, freedom. It's like freedom. F freedom. Also, I think it's like a rocket going up in the air. Also, I think of a rocket blasting off. I'm not familiar with this. I'm not familiar with that as a saying. <laughs> but okay, let me see. Where's my picture? Let me uh, let me block the captions. 
as I do the translation. I have I have a uh, special part. I have a button in my heart that warms whenever I see. Obviously, young people dress old, like obviously like their grandmas. Also, I love these things in the background. So like, I think it's a fresh style. All right, so L I F T O T O F F. Right. She looks like she could be a librarian or a principal, but she looks like she's also like needs her mom <laughs> to fill out a sick day card for high their senior year of high school or something like that. Absolute freedom. Also, also for I think it's like a rocket blasting off. I don't understand what that reference is. I'm gonna have to look that up. Ooh, look at that though. Look at that little piece of art she has in the background there. Some little Afro stuff going on there. Black Lives Matter. Let's go. All right. All right. I see you. Anyway, this guy says, just kind of trying to cover this up. This film is really inspirational or inspiring mm -hmm, for deaf, hard of hearing, hard of hearing. For dancers all around in our cities. So this film is really here to inspire. Uh, oh, he's not done yet. So stories, real, not. So these are not real stories. Uh, real work. I can't see the signs, dude. I got to see the hands, man. <laughs> <laughs> You're just going to have to trust I'm not reading these subtitles. Let me go back to what he was saying. This film is truly inspired by many deaf and hard working and hard hearing. Inspired by or inspirational? That's what I want to see if he said. Real hard of hearing. Okay, so I'm missing I'm missing the inspirational part. So this is a different guy. This is Sam Sapa. Oh, okay. So that film he says truly or really inspired many uh, deaf he says deaf the, the way how I say that that's interesting inspired by from ear to chin deaf hard of hearing deaf our dancing people all around so it's either in this so yeah i don't see if he's saying i think in this sentence he's either saying it was either inspired by or this film is in, in, in is this film is inspired by or this film will inspire i guess it means this film will, was inspired by because the film hasn't out yet so the film is inspired by deaf people hard of hearing people and dancers all around uh, our towns, our cities. Oh, he says communities in the subtitles, but this means cities. Community would be like this. Community is like this. I can, let me make sure I'm, I'm. So he's saying cities. Cities. He's saying cities, but he means community. And so it's a good correction. So yeah, this is cities, right? City, town. Oh, it also means community. Check that out. All right, I'm wrong. Okay, so city, town, community. Whoa, good save. <laughs> good save, life print. <laughs> so there's an extra meaning to that sign, which means community. So then I would assign community like this, but I guess that could also mean club too. ASL community. How would you sign ASL community? Would you say it like this? Oh, oh, interesting. Okay. Deaf community. Okay. All right. I also like to double check sometimes. Huh. Oh, I don't got time for ads. I don't got time for ads. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's continue. So you can do community like this or even like this. I guess this would mean club. Anyway. The story isn't an actual 
true uh, work, uh, real work story? No, but it it picks from a bunch of different foundations and that are true stories from here, here, various, so from various true stories that all come together to make, to make a film, animation, film, yeah, uh, what was he signing there? Uh, he's signing, he's spelling animation with his hands, but he's doing it so fast that he's just flubbing the whole thing. And he kind of has a flubbing kind of way of talking. He talks like, he talks like a producer. He talks like a, hey, I got that thing from the store. And then next thing you know, Linda came in and she was saying the thing. And then stuff happened. And next thing you know, forget about it. Yada, yada, yada. We're all millionaires on a yacht, baby. Why you got to ask so many questions? <laughs> That's how he's talking. There's a lot of like words. Where it's like, you're emphasizing the very small context of these words, but we have to put together all these sentences together. So anyway, uh, let's see. Anyway, am I at two hours yet? <laughs> okay. Anyway, anyway, we're learning sign language, guys. We're, we're going to have a fun time. I'm I'm locked in. We're gonna finish this whole video, believe it or not. So anyway, um, film, animation. So he's signing animation, but look how he signs it. He only does like three letters, and then he just n. So signing for animation, a n i n. <laughs> Anyway, we we are back to the sweetheart. Let's see. Uh, we we are making a kick. She does kick like how I do kick. A kick start. She does start from here rather than here. Totally fine because we are ready. Ready. We are ready to start. Uh, animating or animation we're ready to start animation we began the Kickstarter because we're ready to start the animation and want enough oh is she saying this flat out enough money to send to the animating people oh that smile oh god okay <laughs> also we also want, okay, to build, yeah, build our audience. Yeah. Very, very honestly said. And then we go back to this guy. Oh, what's this guy going to say? Okay. <laughs> So now or today, I'm not sure which one he's going to say first. So today or now, I start kick start. I start the Kickstarter for everybody to, to bring in donation, 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 donation. Oh, so many, so many, so many. Wow. It's like really it's credible. Uh, uh, inspired, it's incredible, inspired, it's incredible, inspired, what else is he saying? But, but, oh, 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 I get it, I get it, I get what he's saying. But, most importantly, look how he's signing this tiny little guy, this tiniest box of all time. His signing frame is so small. It's literally like the sign is of two of his palms. I have an aunt who signs like this, and it's literally impossible. And she does talk like this. We don't talk to her anymore. <laughs> and 
it's impossible to understand. And we just say, just backflip, you trust. We don't got time for this. Okay, look at this guy. Oh, forget about it. All right, look, I'm so, it's just so amazing. Oh, it's so amazing. Oh, okay. It's just so inspirational. And, but, you know, most importantly, uh, I'm just so heartfelt, you know, so moved, touched my heart, and uh, warm. Anyway, we're back. We're back. It's amazing. Love that little part back there. Amazing. Hope. Hope. So she says hope. So it's amazing. So I guess she's saying I hope. I hope or hopefully I the goal keeps going more and and we keep shooting higher and we make even more money and we make the film quickly. Make the film quickly. Look how she leans back as she says that. Quickly. So it's not just it's quickly. That's part of the sign. It's just, wow, I want to grow our audience. Nice and cool. And that's one of the reasons why I'm sharing this video, too. I hope you guys maybe check out the Daily Moth YouTube channel as well as maybe even that Kickstarter to see what's going on with the film Liftoff, right? Okay, guys, we're in the home stretch. Three minutes. We only got 30 seconds left. Let's see what's going on here. Uh, she's going to sign check the way how I know how to sign check because she's hip and I'm hip and you sign check like this and sometimes General Maya does this but when she does this she signs what she means what when she signs that because this is the old version for saying what but my version of saying what the way the way how it's modernly done in like say the last I don't know it's been a while kids kids are around they've only been watching Spongebob who knows what how, how people were doing these days. But when I was growing up, what was like this? Like, what? What? And that makes sense as a sign. Now what for kids is like, what? What? It's WT. And I'm like, okay, I get what you're saying. WT. Like, huh? LOL. <laughs> I don't got time for that. <laughs> Check was the old school version of what? My version of what's like this. Kids' versions of what is like this. So ASL is constantly changing. And now this sign, which was the old school what, means check for us. Check, verify. So she's saying check out the film, uh, the Kickstarter pro uh, project, and see other people or other stuff behind the, the, the project liftoff. See who else is behind there. Yes, that, that was how you do it. See who else is there. <laughs> Look how she's dancing. I love I love how energetic she gets. Okay, so check out that project. You can see who else is behind that liftoff film. Liftoff film. Or liftoff team. The liftoff team. Yeah. Okay, cool. Perfect. Have some uh, rewards. So reward. And she's saying reward, reward, reward. Yeah. Again, different ways of doing it. I would say reward. She's like, reward, reward, baby. We got things. We got things. Don't worry about it. <laughs> my, 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 New, my New Jersey, New York accent is just the worst. It's the worst. I know it's the worst. But. All right. So ooh, what's she saying here? rewards she's spelling out rewards uh for supporting that project you can get rewards for supporting that project in rewards of you know various items various items uh for def oh my gosh move nice and slow some various things from deaf, uh, deaf owned, from deaf owned, sometimes the words don't come to me, but I know what they mean in sign language. My brain is like, you know what the sign means. I'm like, my brain's like, Ugh, English. But she's saying you can get deaf things from uh, various deaf owned businesses, right? Deaf, deaf owned 
businesses from businesses interesting thing this means business this means busy it's like hey i'm busy don't talk to me this is business it's like hey i'm in a business <laughs> <laughs> so if someone's knocking on your door and they're deaf and they're like hey can we talk can we have a quick meeting right now it's like hey i'm in a business right now. <laughs> don't you see we're in a business it's like can, well can we talk it's like i'm i'm businessing i'm busy oh okay that never happened <laughs> that conversation never happens deaf jokes are hard uh it would be a good pun you have to know you have to have love bad english puns and know enough sign language or at least asl to be able to appreciate my brand of deaf comedy <laughs> that's it that's all okay so we're almost done okay so deaf businesses the okay so she says she spells l-i-n-k link in description and captions provided by aslcaptions.com you guys did an amazing job let me just read this again link is in the dis below the link is below i guess in the box below in the box below yeah the link is in the box below oh we got a new guy oh my gosh we have time for a last second ad sure why not let's do it Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's see what he's got to say. He probably has a completely different sign style. Oh, man. Oh, man. It's super fast. It's like 12 frames per second on this guy. You know us interpreters amazing best. We deaf own only VRS make fully wow look how he signs fully oh it does say fully yeah because he's signing enough but he's putting some pizzazz on it so I'm like fully like what's more what's more what's more emphatic than enough it's like completely fully and I don't know what a VRS provider certified by the FCC. There's FCC. What does this mean? Wait for? What wait for? What are you waiting for? Is that what he says? What are you waiting for? What wait for you? So you wouldn't say like, what, um, what you wait for? You wouldn't say it like that. You'd be like, what wait for you? That's how he's saying it. What are you waiting for? VRS. I don't know what VRS provider fully certified means, but I know FCC. What are you waiting for? What wait for you? Yep. And this means sign up. Sign up. So he's about to do the sign for sign up. For. Does he touch his forehead to say for? Sign up for. Does he say sign up for? C O N O V O, oh my god, for convo, and then he spells out the web address. Oh, oh, that's how you do dot. So you do dot like this dot dot c o m, yeah, convolo.com. Anyway, guys, subscribe to the Daily Moth if you're here still, man. I miss talking about sign language. Listen, I got both my vaccine shots. I'm happy. I got COVID past me. I can, I'm still not bulletproof, and I can get in car accidents left and right, but you know what? I'm alive today. I survived another day as a black man in the United States of America. <laughs> Counts for a lot. Let me tell you something. And uh, I'm happy to be here. Black Lives Matter. Uh, you matter. Give yourself a hug. Tell someone something nice today. You're going to have a great day uh, tomorrow. And find a nice way to have a chat with somebody. You're going to have a great time. I guarantee it. It doesn't matter whether they speak in a really bad fake New Jersey accent or if they flub a lot of the lines or if they look like a sweetheart marshmallow, right, in a, in a, in a librarian costume. They, You can talk to anybody about anything. And that's what this channel is about. And what I'm trying to do is give you some tools to be able to have better conversations. I will see you guys next time.